Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you uh, the procedure to rename a Power Center repository. Um, the steps here, uh, they, they work fine for any Power Center version like 960, 951, 910 and 901. Okay, so the agenda for this video first is clarify uh, this question. Is there any command line available to rename a Power Center repository name? No, uh, it's not available. It's not simple like uh, run a, a command line. But there is a, a workaround to change the Power Center repository name. That's pretty simple also. Uh, it consists that you take a repository backup. This can be done by admin console. Then you go and create a new Power Center repository with no contents choose a new name, the, the name that you want, the Power Center repository name. Uh, you, you need to select a new empty DB schema. Uh, af after that you just repository backup uh, that you took in the first step to this new repository. The steps above also they are useful for reduce the size of the Power Center repository because when you when you take the backup you can choose to skip some log files that is going to reduce the the total size of the power center repository okay so here is my power center domain i have this rep a and i'm going to take a backup i go to actions repository contents backup I provide the administrator, user, password, um, backup 01. So here are the options that I mentioned about the uh, skip some log file or deployment group history or skip also MX data. So you can select then to reduce the size of the repository and after select then I'm going just to hit OK to run a backup the, the backup has just completed here uh, so now I'm going to create a new repository with the name that I want so here power center repository I'm going to provide the name rep b select license nodes and I'm going to fill up this additional information so I just fill up this information and I select this option here content exists under specified connection string do not create a new content uh, I select this one because the content I is the backup that I took from repository A. So I'm going to hit finish. Okay, so I just started the repo Power Center repository B. As you can see, this repository has no content. And now I'm going to restore the content that I took from. Uh, repository power center repository a so I come here to actions repository contents restore and I hit restore and I should see uh, here a uh, repository backup that I took in the first step so I I can also choose to skip some log history MX, MX data to reduce the size of the repository and I I can restore this repository as new or not so I just hit OK and I have this information here using groups associated with the repository will be dropped if they do not exist in the domain do you want to continue? yes it's under the, the same domain so no problem with that
restart just completed fine and now I need to change the operating mode from exclusive to normal yes okay okay so now I have two power center repositories one is app A the second one is the new one app B so I have the a new repository with the name that I want app B both repository they have the same content in summary today you have learned some steps to rename uh, a repository name a power center repository name we would love to hear from you please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by twitter info support Thank you.